What would happen if we tried to play sports on the go? Oh, 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 oh. You got this. Took on making part-time jobs a breeze. Clean away. And attempted to make regular mail more like email. I can't see. Ali is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Hey, I'm a banana, and no one will get hurt. CJ is the ultimate in cool. Ah! He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. We would have totally dusted those guys if we didn't get rained out. Every time the game is getting good, it either starts raining or I gotta go home for dinner. That's why I like portable video games. So you can play them anywhere, anytime. That's it. Let's make real games portable. Ooh. Dude, what would happen if we could continue playing sports on the way home from playing sports? Oh! Dude, what would happen if we tried to play mobile basketball? So the lab dude's hooking up with this mobile basketball hoop. Mobile Ali here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play basketball to my house, which is a minute away. CJ and Jackson are going to play against each other, and I'll be using a little Ollie D. Good luck. Three, two, three, two, one. I'm off to my house. <laughs> Just casually walking along. Oh, oh, oh I got one. <laughs> That's two. I thought I'd take it easy on them first to see if they had any game. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. Oh, oh yes! If I wanted a chance at all, I knew I had to get creative. Ali, what's on your shoe? What's on? Ah! <laughs> Not the shoe technique. <sighs> I didn't think about that. That's three with the dunk. Ah! Uh, no. I wonder what homework I have today. No. That's four. While Jackson was busy clowning around and distracting Ali. I was thinking baskets. And I'm going home and then them. Um, OK. What song? OK. And we're off. Yes, we're off. I hate getting cut in trees. Well, listen to what? This was too easy for CJ. So I had to bring my A game for my D. Get it? Defense, A game. Game face. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> ah! I'm home, sweet home. Final score! That's six. One. <laughs> Final score, guys, who won? Six. <laughs> one. What? No, that means I'm number one! That is not what that means. That's totally what it means. Tell him that's not what it means. Jackson, good job. Thanks, what? Molly. We played basketball on the way home from playing basketball. Score! This game was fun and all, but we got to speed this up so we can get home faster. Bikes. Soccer. Soccer on bikes. Bicycle soccer. I'm down. Let's do it. I'm down. So for this experiment, the lab dudes hooked us up with two soccer bikes, a goalie bike and a kicking bike. Right there. Let's see if we can play soccer on the way to my house. Dude, what would happen if we tried to play mobile soccer? Here's the challenge. Ollie and Jackson will have to work together to see if they can score three goals on me before I get home, which is exactly 10 houses away. Yo, Jackson, I'm your wingman. You know, I played soccer my whole life, and after watching Jackson on that bike, we're totally gonna pull this off. All right, let's go, let's go. This is like polo without the cheerleaders. Come on, guys. Whoa! I've got way too many mirrors to allow a surprise attack like that. I was able to use them and see that ball coming so I could block it with my head. Come on, guys, this is too easy. And then we started kicking. I'm about to set you up. Oh, he blocked it. Oh. CJ saved once. Oh. He saved again. This is not going well. Hey, guys, you know what I see in my rearview mirrors? Some guys who should have took up basketball. Ollie and I knew we needed to start working as a team. We needed to start passing to each other. We needed to start talking. <laughs> Kick it. No. Yeah! Ollie yeah! footed it over to me, and bam, I used my leg to kick it right in. Score! Yeah! You ready again? Jackson was starting to get a feel for his legs. He kicked it over to me. Go, go, go. Yeah! Bam, it gets in! We were like a machine working with machines in a machinery factory with machines that kick. We were one house away from home, and we needed one goal to win. This was the moment. You ready again? I wound up, kicked. 
Coming up, Ali goes deep. A baboon goes postal. No, it's not. All right, yeah, Barry, I can't see. And we get all military. We're playing mobile soccer, and Ollie and I are one goal away from winning. You ready again? I wound up, kicked. Oh, Ow! Sorry. It bounced right off Jackson's back. Not good. Why would you do that? But I didn't miss a beat. I used that rebound to my advantage. Let's go, Ollie. You got this. Oh. Yeah! He scored right at the edge of my house. Yeah! Oh, we scored three goals. We took this baby. Oh, 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 oh. That was crazy. And that is why they call me David Bikeham. All right, so bikes and soccer, that's a pretty dope idea. See, but we need something like motorized so we don't have to worry about anything else other than the game. Motorcycle, bigger. Car, bigger. 18-wheeler. Exactly. See, but what are we going to do on the 18-wheeler? Sometimes I feel like the answer is just like, right under my nose, but I can't seem to grasp it. It is under your nose, the skateboard. Ooh. We're gonna build a giant ramp on the back of an 18-wheeler. I'm talking six foot drop in, into a ramp, into a foam pit. Oh, oh yeah, give me some, give me some. Dude, we got our own mobile skate park. Look at the ramp. Ah. Oh. Look at it. That thing looked like a skate park monster as it crept around the corner. That ramp was like a massive warship ready for battle. Like a solar eclipse ready to squeeze you the sun. The perfect machine to see which dude could do the best trick on the ramp. Dude, what would happen if we had a skate off on a mobile ramp? All right, look, the rules are simple, OK? We're going to rate ourselves on a scale from 0 to 10. 0 is your whack. 10, your p -row. We get runs on the ramp until we get down to your house. Let's go. Let's do it. Riding up to the skate truck was crazy. It was like taming a wild horse before you ride it. Not only is this thing moving, but we have to chase and catch it, then climb up onto it in order to ride it. That is the definition of hectic. And if that wasn't enough pressure, we got our battle before we reached CJ's house. This experiment is a total toss-up. I mean, we all skate. But on a mobile skate ramp? Are you kidding me? This ramp is crazy steep. The thought of dropping into it while on a moving truck is messing with my brain. Come on, Jackson. Yeah. Ah! When I first dropped in, I realized you didn't adjust for the mobile skate ramp part. So the guys gave me a four. I guess you could say I got the ramp pulled out from under me. I saw Jackson hesitate. And if there's one thing you don't do on a skate ramp, it's hesitate. You ready? Yes. Give the count down. Three, two, one. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Ollie basically face planted. So I had to give him a three, even though his spill looked awesome. Now I was up. Get him, CJ. Come on, CJ. <laughs> when CJ dropped in, it looked like he was falling off a building. But then he perfectly hooked up with the ramp and then pulled off a gnarly launch on the other side. I'll give him an A. CJ and Jackson had the two highest scores, which meant I was eliminated. It was time for a skate off between the two of them. Come on, you Jackson, this, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Yeah! 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 Yes! Jackson looked like he was in a skate competition. He nailed the rolling and flew off the lip like a pro. I give that a 9.5, Jackson. Yeah, baby, yeah! So I've got to beat Jackson's 9.5 to win this thing. Get that bike! Hi! Oh! oh! CJ was amazing! His aerial antics earned him a perfect 10. Good job, CJ. Hi! Oh! oh! Hope you saw that. This was awesome! We reinvented skateboarding! We could ride while riding home! So, dude, what would happen if we tried to play mobile basketball? That's oh, three. A slam dunk for CJ. Dude, what would happen if we tried to play mobile soccer? Oh. Yeah! A chicken win on the home stretch. And, dude, what would happen if we had to skate off on a mobile ramp? At that height. Height. Oh. oh! We go big and go home. 
How's your part-time job going? I love making extra dough, but I hate that it cuts into my hangout time with you guys. Yeah, I wish I could get paid to hang out. Dude, what if we could make our jobs go quicker so we could have more time to kick? I'm down. And my job's perfect as a pool cleaning executive. Dude, if you actually want to get that pool cleaned quick, then you need to think big. Meaning? Human pool skimmer! Yeah, what? like a real-life dirt-catching Aquaman. Exactly. It normally takes Ollie two hours to clean a pool, so we're gonna try and find out if we can do it in three minutes. Okay. I have the lab dudes transforming into a life-size pool skimmer. Yeah. You know, if you look at that device, I didn't really think that it was gonna work, because you'd have to have total control over that thing at all times. In three minutes, it's not a lot of time. Dude, what would happen if Ollie tried to speed clean a pool by becoming a human pool skimmer? Three, two, one. Clean away! My theory is to go around the sides and clean all the leaves so the residuals go all in the middle, and then I jump in the middle, I take them all out, and I'm the human pool skimmer! I gotta dump it out! Nice, nice. You've already got like 82 leaves. Look at that! Look at that! Dump them all in. I have to admit, he was doing a great job. I didn't think that contraption would work at all. Doing good, man. You're coming up on only a minute left. Dude, I'll lead him brace. Pool skimming is an art. I was scooping with my arms. I was scooping with my feet. I was scooping with my head. I was scuba diving and diving while I was scooping. How much time do I have? You have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, man. You're dropping the lead back into the pool. What are you doing? No! Go! 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 Oh, you only have 20 seconds 20 left. 20 seconds. Come on. So we're looking and we're thinking all these almost done. And then we look into the deep end. All right, you got just under 20 seconds. The time was almost up, and Ollie almost had the pool clean, but there was like a, a gang of leaves all in the deep end. So me and Jackson decided to jump in and just create like a leaf tsunami to help Ollie get all the rest of the leaves and finish his pool off. Oh, I am the human pool skiller! Ollie, you're my boy. That pool, it was 99.99% clean. And in pool man terminology, that's perfect. Yeah! <laughs> you know who has the busiest part-time job out of all three of us? Janet Jackson. No, you do, dude. You're the cashier. You have to cash register all these people and then take their groceries from the store to their car. You're absolutely right. So you said you can do your two-hour pool cleaning job in three minutes? Well, I'm going to do my four-hour part-time job in one minute, but I'm gonna need your help. Sweet. I have had the lab dudes hook us up with a high-powered pneumatic grocery launcher filled with plutonium! Plutonium? I know I didn't get the plutonium, I just like the word, but oh, look, it launches oh. groceries! Dude, what would happen if we tried to speed up grocery bagging and delivery? Position! Now the guys have to work together to catch and fill up eight bags and put them in the trunk of this car in a minute. I'm gonna put them in the shopping cart, because, I mean, who doesn't want to catch stuff on wheels? It's way easier than running. No, 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 no. Wait, move out of the way, move out of the way. What? So my technique, hand, boom. I hold the bag with one hand, and I catch the projectile groceries with this hand, put them in the bag, boom. Why wouldn't you beep, do? Beep. Sorry, my method isn't gonna work, because look at me. We'll see. I'm on wheels! All right, CJ's buddy. on foot! Foot equals wheels. No, wheels win. Wheels are greater than feet. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. Right out of the gate, CJ was killing. Boom, I got one. So as soon as I get my first bag filled, I race to the car and drop it off in the trunk. But give me some bread. Right. That's two seed. I was unstoppable. And we've got three bags done. And Ali, Enough. his wheels were stuck on a bag of cereal. I'm forgetting, forget that. I'm using the double method now. Don't no worry, you guys. Send They're it. hard boiled. <laughs> Eggs, Jackson? Eggs? Good enough. Oh, good. Oh, don't worry. What are you doing? Whoa, ah. whoa. Ah. You're OK. Yeah. That's five bags. 
clock's ticking and we've only got five bags. We gotta get three more bags in 23 seconds. Cereal was flying. Mashed potatoes were flying. Milk was flying. Flour was flying. Patrons of my store. I need one more thing. I'm down. All right, all right, come on. Give me more. I feel like I'm under a cow. Got yes! It. With less than 10 seconds, CG and I decide to go double team and get this last bag done. One more item, come on! We're trying to speed up Jackson's part-time job at the checkout, and we only have one bag left to fill and six seconds to do it. Jackson launches the last one, we catch it, put it in the bag, take it to the trunk, put it, close it, we did it! Jackson, you are the world's greatest grocery launcher. Dude, I knew it would be possible. All right, okay, now, okay, wait a second now. Who's gonna clean this up? Uh... So, dude, what would happen if Ali tried to speed clean a pool? We got it! We got it! A skimtastic success. And, dude, what would happen if we tried to speed up grocery bagging and delivery? Got yes! It. It's in the bag. Just hit send. <sighs> dude, sending email is exhausting. How about regular mail? First, you gotta get a piece of paper, then you gotta get a pen, and then you gotta fold it, put it in a mailbox. Oh, and get this, it won't get there for another week. I love how easy email is. I mean, you could write a message and then send it in seconds. Dude, what if we made snail mail? More like email. Yeah, and let's have the coolest feature ever, the attachments. Dude, yeah, let's attach cool stuff that people would normally attach to emails and then deliver it to people in the neighborhood. But we need an attachment of our own who can help us deliver our attachments. Yeah. Robots, robots. What about a cat? No, but I like where you're going with the animals. I'm out of the room! This is my friend Mickey the Baboon. For this experiment, he's gonna help us deliver attachments that would normally be sent by email. Be it snow, a light flurry, rain, or sleep, people will get their songs or photos, or whatever. Dude, what would happen if we tried to make regular mail more like email using a baboon? Can I get my first package with an attachment, please? Come on, Mickey, throw it, bro, throw it. Toss it. No, 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 that's not food. As soon as Jackson and Mickey started delivering the mail, I sensed that this was gonna turn into a bit of a zoo. Do they count as mail if they're drenched in baboon spit? Go, man. Throw it, don't eat the attachments. Then he started getting a little too interested in the attachments. There you go, bike pump. Okay, he's eating the bike pump. Quit mugging around, dude. What are you doing? Whoa, that's the CD. That's the CD. Come on, Mickey. Here, try sending this. Hey! I need, we need a post. <laughs> With a minute gone, Mickey had eaten five pieces of mail, ruined a bunch of attachments, and delivered as much mail to the street as he did to the houses. So Mickey and I had to speed up the pace. Mickey, <laughs> handle. Handle business, Mickey. All right, let's do this. Jackson thought the Mickey piggyback would speed up the process and start getting it right. He was wrong. All right, yeah, I can't see. Mickey, we're speeding up mail, not stealing people's mail. It's very unprofessional. Do you want this? Wait, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mickey. whoa. And then Mickey decided to take a break. What are you doing, Deciding. Mickey? No, 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 Mickey and I had a little meeting. Mickey, why are you throwing a tantrum right now? Look at yourself. Look what you're doing. You're making yourself look like a fool. We can do this together, Mickey. Yeah, just smile. Just get back on my shoulders and we can do this. Get back on my shoulders, bro. <laughs> All right, let's hand it. Jackson's meeting with Mickey worked. I gave him one more package. Yes! He got on the truck! <laughs> yeah, Mickey! This experiment did not go according to plan, but I did get to see Jackson communicate with the primate. Yeah! <laughs> and handshake. That's priceless. Yeah. You know if the baboon just throws the mail everywhere, we could have big problems. We would need something that could deliver the mail and attachments with total precision and power, like a vehicle. Ooh. Yeah! What kind of vehicle has enough precision and power to do that? How about like a... A submarine! Uh, we can only deliver to people on the coast. Airplane! Then we can only deliver to people on the ground. I'll tell you what, a armored vehicle. <laughs> this mission shall be accomplished. Let's go! Stay hot, soldiers! Let's get on out there! So we rolled in in an armored vehicle with a cannon made for delivering mail and attachments. Dude, what would happen if we tried to make regular mail more like email using a cannon? 
Now this was gonna be intense because we had 20 seconds to canvas all five trailer houses and our cannon had to be within 20 feet of the houses or the mail would blow past them. They're gonna get their attachments dude style. Yeah. Bam. All right, can we do it? Dude, yes, dude! Can we do it? Dude, yes, dude! March out! 2,000 pieces of mail, five houses, 30 seconds, CJ's driving, Ollie's shooting? No way! CJ, let's go! Our first shot was aimed right at the first house. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Why didn't you shoot? I'm not gonna get the shot, you're not close enough. Go back! Corporal CJ was not paying attention and put me out of range. We gotta go get it! Fully away! Ooh, we hit the house. We swung down to the second house. Second one down! Third! Nice shot, Ali! We had two houses left. All CJ had to do was take a left, get within range, and we were good to go. We get to the end of the road, and CJ was about to take a right. I said, no, take a left. CJ pulls the left. Yeah. I aim. Three seconds, one more house! with 2,000 letters. Email has never been so hoo-ah. Woo! We did it. Oh, there's mail everywhere. This is totally turning snail mail into email. What is wrong with your mouth? Oh, I'm a smell. commander. Get back in the car, friends. So, dude, what would happen if we tried to make regular mail more like email using a baboon? Nikki, Not that tasty. That Jeez, yeah. total monkey business. And, dude, what would happen if we try to make regular mail more like email using a cannon? Yeah! Yeah! Mission to go, Blitz! There we go. Got it. Got there it. we go. So today, we learned that keeping the game going can be intense. Yeah. Yeah. That when dudes work as a team, it's always in the bag. Yes! Yeah. And realize that baboons can send, yeah. but it takes a cannon to deliver. 